After posting one short a day, 30 days in a row, this is what happened to my channel. Check it out. As you can see here, I started posting on December 14th and really started daily posting starting December 17th. So from December 17th on, I posted one short a day every single day for 30 days, really a little over 30 days in a row. You can see my first one did get picked up. It got over a thousand views, got 30 likes. It was a decent short. These are all war zone. So this was a gaming channel, but it was a decent short. And I got really hyped. I posted, <laughs> I posted that short and thought everyone was going to pop off. A thousand views was a ton, especially because it's really hard to get picked up. Or so I thought, especially because I didn't really know how the YouTube algorithm worked. So a thousand views was crazy and a hundred percent like ratio, which I think had a lot to do with it. After that, I posted another one and it didn't get pushed at all. These are views from people I sent it to. And as we go on, you can see they didn't get a ton of views, especially compared to the first one. I mean, 200, 300, 28. And then we got back into a thousand, another one, but then didn't get pushed. So I was really still trying to figure out the algorithm and how it worked and then we have three in a row one two three i got over a thousand views which was just fantastic i think a huge part of the shorts is the like ratio and the viewer duration if you can make something that's catchy you just got to have something entertaining to watch right from the start or people are just going to swipe right off it was really tough for me to know which shorts are going to do well and which wouldn't because i would post something that i thought was a great clip heavily edited and it would get 11 views and the next day i posted another clip and it got 1300 it really does matter what time you post. For all of these 30, 30 plus shorts that I posted over a 30 day period, I posted between 9 a.m. and 12 p.m. PST. So all of these clips were posted relatively early in the day. And as you can see, some of them didn't get pushed at all. I mean, we go from a thousand straight to zero, one, two days in a row. And I posted, I experimented with double posting a few days, even triple posting on this day. And from everything that I've tried, Personally, double posting has not worked a single time. I could post once and get, as you can see, over a thousand views and post again hours later in the same day and get no push at all whatsoever from YouTube. And I did, I tried it twice on this day. I tried it other days and even deleted some videos that didn't get pushed within a week or two. After that, I just kind of swore off post double posting or even triple posting just because it, di it didn't work for me, as you can see. So when we go up, uh, the next day i still didn't get a push at all then i got a slight push and then this right here december 31st new year's eve was a saturday so this is by far my biggest video on this channel it's got almost 10,000 views on a short and if we go into the analytics here we can see that this happened almost instantly this pump right here i would say this is a really great video it was very entertaining right from the start i gave it a goal i told the audience what was going to happen and what i was attempting to do um, which I think had a lot to do with the uh, the views here because it just hooked them right at the beginning. And as you can see, this video gained a lot of subscribers, especially for a short, I would say 19 subscribers off the short. It was very, I, I felt very accomplished after this. But I, this is how the shorts have been for me for the most part. They've been an instant boost in views and an instant subscriber count for the most part. I'll, I'll show you what I mean in a little bit. But still going through it, I mean, the next... The next day got 3,000. So in my mind, Saturdays and Sundays were really good. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday again. 3,000 views. Another 3,000 here. 3,000. So as we start to go on, you can see the views started really to average out above 1,000. Even though still, videos don't always get pushed. I mean, there's days I post, I'll get 13, 10, 2, 0 views. But you can see the average since then. 1,000, 2,000. 2000, 2000 you know what i mean so consistency definitely plays a part and just stay consistent 30 days in a row was my first goal and as you can see from the start of this video i started on the 17th it's now the 19th so i've stayed consistent and i think it's best to just try to get as many clips as you can and schedule them you got to make sure they're high quality you can obviously see what works what's catchy try to get better at editing and the more that you post and the more that you schedule the more that you edit the more that you make, the more content that you make, the better you're going to get at all of it. And I think consistency, as everyone says on YouTube, is key. Posting daily content, for me, shorts were the best thing that I could do. Now we're going to the, the full analytics for the last 28 days. I've got over 40,000 views on my videos, which were, I would say, almost 100% of them were shorts. I posted one long form video that did not get pushed very much. 
but my goal with with this specific channel i'm going to be posting daily shorts as much as i can and 99 percent of my content is call of duty so far uh, i haven't really branched out or tried anything different but i try to stick in that niche and the long form video that i made was a heavily edited warzone 2 game so that didn't really get pushed but my goal is to post shorts and have people subscribe so then they get uh the long form content push to them because I heard that YouTube is doing that now they'll actually push your videos based on the shorts that you're watching so it's really good to try to build up an audience with shorts as you can see they push it a lot more than they would a regular video but once they push it then you can amass these views and amass these subscribers so you can post long form videos the watch time which doesn't matter to YouTube anymore for monetization not for shorts at least so this is a cool stat but it doesn't mean so much for me since I'm posting shorts and I've got over 55 subs in the last month. Just posting shorts. All my subs came from shorts. You can see I have 70 subscribers, most of which came from <laughs> this period here. If we look at my one long form video, you can see it kind of got a little, little bit of traction here, which is mainly due to me sending it to people. And it just kind of tapered off. And that's not uncommon for a video. And it's also not uncommon for my actual short content. It gets almost all the views in the first day or even the first hour, which was very typical for me. But I would never delete something that's gotten even a little bit of a push because you don't know if you're going to get pushed again in a week, in a year. Anything could really happen. But while we're looking through the analytics here, you can see most of them are a big spike at the front, and they kind of taper off at the end. They just kind of stick with what they had. It is interesting to note, though, that not all videos pop off at the very beginning of the, of the time posted and just go with the same stuff. I mean... This video right here, you can see, took multiple hours, even multiple days to get another push right here. So you can see this is at two days, and it got pushed again right over that 2,000, 3,000 mark. So this one got a small push in the beginning, first first hour. You, you, I didn't know how it was going to do. had a few hundred views, and then kept consistently getting pushed up until about here, which I thought it flatlined, and then it popped off again after two days. So, so I've had a lot of videos do weird things like that you know, get more traction a few days later, even one day later, 24 hours, 12 hours, things like that. For the most part, posting in the morning, if you don't have your analytics, if you don't know when your users are online, posting in the morning, for me, PST, worked great and got a lot of views right off the bat, and just consistency. I'm going to be updating you guys with a video like this every 30 days, so if you like what you saw, please drop a like, comment, tell me how your channel was doing after the first 30 days. Or if you're going to go for a challenge like this and post one short a day for 30, 60, 90 days, or even a whole year, which is what I'm currently attempting to do. So as you can see, posting one short a day for 30 days in a row can change a lot for a channel. 43, almost 44,000 views in a single month was unheard of for me until I started posting shorts consistently. I'm going to make an updated video just like this every month with my new stats, subs, watch time, views, and hopefully get to that monetization mark which is, as we all know, is 10 million YouTube Shorts views in the last 90 days or 4,000 public watch hours on a regular long form video and 1,000 subscribers. Overall, I highly recommend this challenge to anyone who wants to grow their YouTube channel, big or small. It may be difficult at first, but the results are worth it. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys next time.